our presentation is focused on monetary policy. Just to begin with, we'll give you a rundown on the basic concepts of monetary policy. Firstly, monetary policy is a policy in which the government manipulate three main variables in the form of money supply, the national interest rate and the exchange rate in an attempt to achieve the macroeconomic goals of stable economic growth, stable prices, low unemployment and living within our means. Before we continue, we need to inform you of a very important group of people. The Monetary Policy Committee, otherwise known as MPC, are a group of central bankers who meet monthly and base decisions depending on the economic climate. Sir Mervyn King is the current Governor of the Bank of England and is a huge part of the MPC. He assumed office on the 1st of July 2003. Expansionary monetary policy is implemented when the economy has room to grow stably. It involves decreasing interest rates, increasing money supply and decreasing exchange rates. The national interest rate is currently at the lowest it has ever been in over five decades. This is because of the fact the UK is coming through the back end of a deep recession and the use of expansionary monetary policy is believed to help the economy push itself towards the boom phase of the economic cycle. However, the current UK economic problem is so vast due to the fact the government has set the Bank of England a 2% inflation target. This means the BOE has the extremely tough task of keeping inflation down whilst implementing expansionary monetary policy to help achieve the macroeconomic goal of stable growth and maintaining constant prices. This is obviously an extremely tough task as expansionary monetary policy encourages inflation, however contractionary monetary policy would slow down the economy and ultimately force it to take even longer to come out of a recession. Contractionary monetary policy is utilised when the economy has no room to grow and therefore in an attempt to prevent inflation, interest rates are increased to encourage saving, money supply is decreased and the exchange rate is increased to prevent a balance of payments deficit. Everything in economics has an opportunity cost, monetary policy included. Lots of quantitative easing can wreck an economy through causing inflation and high interest rates can lead to increased unemployment, which is a poor allocation of resources and leads to an increased economic deficiency. Time lag is a huge issue with monetary policy. This is because of the numerous phases the economy goes through before the effects can be seen. Firstly, a change in interest rates leads to an impact on AD. Increased interest rates encourage more saving and less spending, therefore AD decreases. This is known as contractionary monetary policy. Lowered interest rates discourage saving and actually encourage the population to spend and as a consequence AD increases expansionary monetary policy. This also leads to changes in unemployment levels. High interest levels give the unemployed the confidence to stay unemployed, while low interest levels give the lazy the encouragement to go out and take a job due to their financial insecurities, whereby they learn earn low interest. To summarise, low interest rates lead to high employment rates, whereas high interest rates lead to high unemployment rates. As you can see, this is a lengthy progress. Uh, process and time lag often gives economists a hard time in predicting what will happen in the future. The diagram shown highlights the changes in the inflation each year. In the second quarter of 2008, inflation peaked at 5%.
This is where the BOE effectively said enough is enough and implemented a stronghold over the economy's interest rates through its rate of 0.5%, the lowest ever recorded in over 50 years. Thanks for listening. We uh, hope you found this very informative.